I'm just trying to figure him out. New guy. He wants to see how tough he is, so he's putting him up there as he makes his move out, just as you mentioned earlier, Joe. Able to make subtle moves there. Formella, Formella again, now a citizen of Germany. Has the Polish out, Sebastian, that's you holding German Sebastian. emblems there on his trunks. A about. decent first round. And Joe Goosen, you know what I mean, right? And I, I know he's a challenger. He's looking for the championship of Sean Best Porter. Exactly. Going, this this is like a championship fight for Formella. That's for damn sure. But I got to tell you something. You heard Kenny Porter, what he told Sean. He said, Sean, go out there and rough this dude up. You know, he doesn't want him waiting around trying to figure him out. So it's he's doing that right stop, now. Stop, stop. The way last, uh, at the wow. beginning of this week. So I, I'm not really kidding when I say it was about 130 in there. But now, right now, I, just landed there by Porter. And now he goes to work on the body. Just yeah. excellent body work. And an, an uppercut to boot from Sean Porter to punctuate. Ooh, boy. Hard jab there by Formella, but a right hand coming over the top. Yeah. Porter falls short with the right hand again. But you, you get the feeling that Porter makes this rough. I mean, where can Formella go? Yeah, and, and see, that's it. That, that right hand just barely missed Formella. If Sean starts closing that gap a little bit and landing that, that, yeah. that could be very dangerous for Formella. But I, I will say one thing is that Formella is, is he's at least holding his own. Yeah, and look, he just tried to sneak in a nice little right hand off a jab against Sean Porter. Formella did. And, you know, jabs in the first two rounds so he's able to throw it lands a right hand there for Mellick just missing with his right hand to see the body something from it he knows what to do in there you know he's he's a he's a he's, go, he's, he's a great out. professional right now he's got a lot of experience behind him he knows what to do in, in certain situations he's been up against movers all the time and this guy is on his bike now moving out of the way just don't think he's got the power to hurt Sean and to really get his respect it's a good jab but he ate a right hand as well we can go to Marcos Villegas and find out. Is Marcos there? Marcos, you there? Yeah, Brian, uh, so far, you know, I have it all Sean Porter at this point of four rounds to zero. You know, he's doing actually really, really well when he's fighting in the mid-range. I, I think a lot better than he was uh, in the close range with Formella. The, the other thing that I'm seeing here is when Formella lands a punch, I don't think it's as damaging as when Sean Porter lands a punch, and that could really sway the judges if he's landing these punches here, and, and Sean's landing maybe one or two that sound and look bigger. Oh, no question. And that matters, too. Good combination there by Formella. That really able to land. Another scoring shot by Formella, but he's... E right like there. He took a shot and then countered with a left hook right there. He snuck in a right hand right there. A little another choppy right hand. So he does things like that to keep him in the game. He's just not... In the blue trunks. This is able to battle here against one of the top welterweights in the world. Don't know if he's won a round yet, Marcos Villegas. This does not think so. It's unlikely. But he's making a good account of himself. Now backing up Porter on the attack. Yeah, Porter's doing a good job right now of uh, imposing his will on Sebastian. And, uh, you know, his dad told him to, you know, throw great shit. It's just not very effective, and it's not going to deter Sean. Porter getting after it now in the final seconds here of round number five. Ooh. Game effort by Formella having his moments, but Sean Porter, Sean Porter, the A-side, all trained by their fathers. And uh, Kenny Porter said, hey, I want more better footwork for Sean. I want him to cut off the ring as he is just muscling up. And a good hook by Sean Porter there on Formella. But uh, Joe, it used to be that the father-trainer thing, you tried to stay away from. It's happening. And he's definitely scoring the points and winning this round. Yeah, and what Porter's doing right on the inside. Uppercuts and hooks and backing him up. Right, hard right hand to the body. But you got you to gotta give up. Uh, Plant mentioned Formella just get, getting broken down in a lot of ways, but comporting himself. He's not he's not busy enough. He needs to be a little bit more busier, especially with the jab, or even come back with some nice powerful combination. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of in a little um, wave of energy. Porter can smell it. He can feel it. When he lands one shot and backs him up, then he brings even more pressure, which he just did over those last 15 seconds. Yeah, body shot again by Porter, right hand. He is being meted out to him pretty well. Until we see him get wobbled or dropped or something like that, he's standing up to most of this. He's just not offering a lot back. Porter is teeing up now multiple. Porter with the hook, leaping left. An undersized heavyweight yeah. would, would get incredible power from his hook. And not many guys will, will not many guys will, will jump out of their shoes. Executive producer here, uh, 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 Tom McDaly's father fought Floyd Patterson. That's right, Brian. Yeah, absolutely. And then you know, Floyd on the way up. And was, was that his pro debut? This could have been. This. 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 This.
was not his pro debut. Good mixing it up by Formella early on. I'll yeah. say this. Yeah. I didn't think we'd be in round eight. Exactly. Well, you know, I mean, again, we, we studied uh, Formella's tapes, and he's really durable, and... You know, he's he's got a lot of grit and look he's fighting back. I, I love I when you him. step in my cocoon of all if it's Spence, if it's Garcia, if it's Pacquiao, if it's Thurman, whoever it is, uh, he's gotta be just a bit better and be a little more sophisticated, and it looks like his boxing IQ is capable of that from what we've seen tonight. Oh, I agree with that. His boxing IQ is way up there. Like I said, he's top shelf and he's doing the right things and he can work on different things. Anything he wants to do in there, he can do right now. Let me just add, if I were in the corner, though, and I were in Sean's corner, I would not want this to be a distance fight. I'd really be encouraging him to go for a knockout in the next two rounds. Let's get word from the corner. Jordan Plant was there with Kenny Porter. Jordan? Yeah, Brian, I asked Kenny. All right, Kenny, it's, this fight's going a lot longer than you expected, I'm sure. What does Sean need to do to stop it? And he said, hey, Carmelo's taking some big punches. Yeah. As you see right now, that big flurry. And he wasn't really saying they're going for the knockout. He just said Formella's a rough guy. He might get it right here, Jordan. I tell you what, digging to the shots. Formella in surviving mode, trying to stick. Well, I, I think Sean Porter's much smarter than people get credit for. I think he showed that in this fight. Look at his body work here. Formella. Yeah, I agree. Final round. Let's see if Sean Porter can close the show oh, on yeah, the attack. But Formella able to spin out, throw his own shots. And establish a little bit of room. Yeah, but he been seconds. Look, it's never boring. You know, like there's, there's there are no fans here. But I think he, no matter where we would be, there'd be nobody even grumbling watching this fight. Exciting action here, from top to bottom. Sean Porter still on the attack. Formella final seconds. 